guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. Today's video is going to be a what's for dinner. I share these every week to hopefully give you guys some dinner inspiration and some motivation to cook more for your family. This week's video is actually a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers. This collab was put together by Julia Pacheco. Make sure you check out her link down below. She does what's for dinners every week as well as other videos. And then there will also be a playlist with a bunch of other people who also do what's for dinners. So make sure you check that out if you need some dinner ideas. Now let's get into this week's what's for dinner. For Friday night's dinner, I am going to be making a homemade hamburger helper. This idea was inspired by my friend Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. So to start off, I have added about a pound of ground beef to my pan and I am going ahead and seasoning that with some salt and pepper and some Badia Complete seasoning and some garlic powder and onion powder. Once my meat is all browned, I'm going to start adding in some other ingredients. I'm going to add in some ketchup. I think I did about like three tablespoons of ketchup. I'm going to add in some mustard. And then I'm going to add in two cups of water and some beef bouillon cubes. Along with three quarters of a cup of milk and about half a box of elbow noodles or whatever kind of noodles you wanna use. And I just let that simmer over medium heat for about 15 minutes, stirring it pretty frequently and checking on those noodles. And then once the noodles are done, we're going to add some cheese. So for cheese, I added about eight ounces of Velveeta that I cubed up and then I added some random pieces of sliced cheddar that I had in the fridge, as well as some shredded cheddar. And then I just let that simmer on low heat for a few minutes till all that cheese got nice and melted and then it's done. All the cheese is melted and this is what it is looking like. And then I just made a can of corn to go with it and this just has a little bit of butter in it and some pepper. And here are our plates. I'm gonna get rid of the kids' plastic plates soon. So we are testing out them using these tonight. We'll see how this goes. But that is dinner for Friday. It is Saturday and tonight's dinner is an easy one. We are just doing tacos. So I cooked up some ground beef with some taco seasoning. I made some hard shells. And then this is something new. This is from my cookbook. This is my Better Homes and Gardens cookbook that I've had for like 10 years. Um, but it is linked to my Amazon store if you're interested. I will try to find this recipe online and link it down below. It's spicy black beans and rice. So it's got black beans and rotel and salsa it. and some seasonings in it. And it smells really good. We haven't tasted it yet. If we do like it, I will be sure to include it in a video in the future. But you're supposed to serve that on top of white rice. So I made some rice in the Instant Pot and instead of just making plain old white rice, which I usually put chicken bouillon in, I put in this tomato mm -hmm. with chicken bouillon. So it's not just plain. So we've got the beans on top of that with some cheese, or I do. I separate with the kids because I'm not sure if they're gonna like the beans. So they just have them on the side. And then- I ate some cheese out of the bag. <laughs> stealing cheese over here. Our tacos are pretty plain tonight, just meat and cheese because I did not feel like cutting up any tomato. And then I have some Ortega taco sauce. But that is going to be dinner for Saturday. Yummy cheese. Stop stealing my cheese. <laughs> for Sunday's dinner, I made a recipe called Creamy Italian Sausage Soup. I wanted to make my sausage tortellini soup, but Walmart was out of tortellini. So I started off by cooking eight ounces of penne pasta. And once that was done, I drained it and then I used that pot to cook everything else. So I added in some oil with some garlic, some onion, and my sausage, and I cooked that until it was browned. Then I drained the grease and added a can of whole tomatoes, which I kind of tried to smash. I added some water and better than bouillon chicken and you could do chicken broth if you wanted to. 
I also added one jar of marinara sauce, diced tomatoes, Italian seasoning, and heavy cream. And then I stirred that constantly and brought it to a boil. Then I reduced the heat and simmered for five minutes. Next, I stirred in some butter, mozzarella, and parmesan, and I simmered that over medium heat, stirring often till everything was melted. Finally, I stirred in the pasta. This recipe was good, but it just wasn't a favorite for us. I don't think I would make it again, but it was pretty good. It kind of reminded me of like lasagna soup, but I prefer the lasagna soup that I've made in the past over this recipe. Here's the finished soup. I made a ton and I already tasted it and it's not bad. It's pretty good actually, but like, I don't know if you can tell, like see how the cheese like clumped to the sausage all weird. It definitely looks very weird, but it tastes good. Um, I don't know why it did that. It looks it just, that looks really weird right there. But um, yeah, it tastes good, so that's really all that matters. And to go with it tonight, we are having some of this sourdough bread that I made. If you are interested in seeing me make that, I did have a recipe video go up for that on Thursday, so make sure you check that out. I will have it linked up in the cards and the description box down below. But that is going to be dinner for Sunday. It is Monday, and I'm starting to prep dinner for tonight. We are having some air fryer shrimp with sausage and zucchini that I'm making with like some Cajun seasoning. And to go with that, I'm doing some rice. So I thought I would tell you guys how I do my rice in the pressure cooker. So in here, I have a lot of rice because we're gonna have fried rice in the next couple of days. So I did four cups of rice, four cups of water, and I rinsed my rice really well. And so I have all that in there. And to that, I'm going to add just a splash of olive oil. That keeps it from being too sticky. And then I like to have like chicken flavor in it because it just makes it taste better. So because this is four cups, I'm going to do two of these Nor chicken bouillon cubes. I prefer the powder kind, but they didn't have that at the store that I was at. So I have this kind. Um, I also, you could do the... Um, the better than bouillon, but I want to use these up. So I'm going to use those and this. I'm just going to drop them in there and then I'm going to put the lid on and cook this on high pressure for three minutes and then just let it sit off for 10 minutes before I do a quick release. Okay, while my rice is in the pressure cooker, I'm gonna get started with everything else that's gonna go in the air fryer. So I have some peeled, deveined tail on shrimp. So I'm gonna add that to my bowl with, um, it says six ounces of sausage. This is 12 ounces. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it in and have extra sausage because then Andy will have lunch and stuff for tomorrow. And then we've got two zucchinis. It says one medium zucchini and one medium yellow squash, but we don't like yellow squash. I know they pretty much taste the same, but yellow squash is always like softer in the middle than zucchini in my experience. So I don't like that soft texture. I prefer zucchini. And then it called for red bell pepper, but my store didn't have any, so I just left it out. And then some salt and olive oil. So I'm gonna cut these in slices and then cut the slices in half. So we'll have like half circles. I'm going to cut these into little circles and then just mix everything together in the bowl. And then we will throw it in the air fryer on 400 degrees for eight minutes.
And here are our plates. This one's mine. And then for the kids, I went ahead and took the tails off their shrimp so that they don't have to worry about that. And I decided to top it with a little bit of cheddar cheese. So I thought that would be good. So that is going to be dinner for Monday. It's Tuesday and tonight's dinner is just an easy one. The kids are actually in bed. I didn't eat with them. Um, they had a, I don't know, do you want to call this a, gr a grilled cheese or you want to call it a panini because I put it on the thing and pressed it. I don't know. Theirs was cheese and turkey bacon. And mine has cheese, turkey bacon, you can't even tell, but there's tomato on there. And some of this stone ground mustard. It is so good on a grilled cheese or panini, whatever you want to call it, a hot sandwich. Um, so that is going to be my dinner. Also, we've got some of the Progresso Hearty Tomato Soup. If you've been here a while, you know this stuff is the best. It is our favorite tomato soup. But that is going to be dinner for Tuesday. It is Wednesday, and tonight I made fried rice with that leftover rice from the other night when I made the Cajun shrimp and sausage. So I just took that cold rice, made some fried rice. I seasoned it with some soy sauce and a tiny bit of sesame seed oil because this stuff is really strong. If you just have the sesame oil, it's not as potent, but the sesame seed oil has a much stronger flavor. So we just need a little bit of it. So, and then I added some egg and a little bit of frozen peas and carrots. And then in here, I cooked some chicken. I had some frozen chicken breast that I put in here with some teriyaki sauce, some brown sugar, some garlic. Is that it? Chicken broth, that's it. And I just let that cook all day. And I cooked it a little bit too long, so it's like really shredded. Usually it's not this shredded, but that's okay. It still tastes good. And I tried to kind of thicken up the sauce a little bit with um, cornstarch, but it's it, I don't think I added enough or it's not hot enough anymore because this has been on warm for quite a while. But these are our plates. I went to Ikea today and got some glass plates and bowls and stuff for the kids and some silverware so I can get rid of all their plastic stuff. And this stuff is cheap, so I don't have to worry about it breaking. Um, so there's their plates, and this is my plate. And that is going to be dinner for Wednesday. It is Thursday, and tonight for dinner we are trying a new recipe. This is for spaghetti pie. This is in my Better Homes and Gardens cookbook that I've had forever. I did find a link to it online, so I'll have that link down below for you guys if you want exact measurements and all that. And also, the cookbook is always linked in my Amazon favorites if you're interested in buying the cookbook. So for this, I am already starting to cook up the spaghetti noodles. You only need four ounces of spaghetti noodles, so I'm cooking those till they are done. And then to that, I'm going to add an egg and some butter and some Parmesan cheese. And then in this pan, I'm going to cook my ground beef. And you only need eight ounces of ground beef, but this is a pound, so I'm going to cook all of it and then just take half of it to make this recipe. I am altering it a little bit. It calls for onion and pepper and garlic. I'm just gonna use onion powder and garlic powder. And then it also just calls for regular tomato sauce, but I'm going to use some of this marinara sauce. And then we also need some cottage cheese and some mozzarella, which I just grated with my KitchenAid. So I'm going to get started on cooking the meat. My noodles are done, so I've drained them, and to them I'm going to add one beaten egg, a tablespoon of butter, and about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna mix all that together and then set it aside until it's time to put together the pie.
because I used that 90% lean meat, we don't really have anything to drain. So now I'm just gonna add some of my pasta sauce. It says an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna estimate because this is a 23 ounce jar. I am out of cooking spray, so I'm just going to grease this with some olive oil that I put on a paper towel so that it doesn't stick. And I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. This is gonna go in there for 20 to 25 minutes. Just a little bit more. Okay, I have the spaghetti mixture. We're gonna press it in there and kind of do it up the side so it forms a crust. Then we're going to top that with one cup of cottage cheese. And then we'll put the meat and sauce mixture on top. And then finally, we will top it with the mozzarella cheese. And then into the oven, this is going to go. To me that doesn't look like enough meat and sauce so I'm actually going to add the rest of the ground beef with some more sauce. Okay, I think it was on last week's What's For Dinner, somebody asked me what my secret was for broccoli, because I guess they thought my broccoli looked delicious. Um, I make it in the air fryer, and my secret is to make sure you use dry broccoli. Um, so when I come home from the grocery store, I wash it before I put it away. That way when I want to cook it, it's dry and I don't have to worry about drying it. If you have like a salad spinner or something, you could wash it right before you're about to use it, because then you could use that and dry it. I don't have one. So I just dry it when I get home from the store. And then I like to chop it up pretty small and put a little oil on it. Usually I like to spray it with like cooking spray, but um, I'm out. So I'm just gonna spray it with, uh, drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And then kind of mix that up and then I will put it in the air fryer basket and season it with whatever seasonings I want. Um, usually just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then this will go in the air fryer on 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. I usually start checking it at like 8 minutes. Just until it gets to how you like it. Okay, this is what my broccoli is looking like. It's a little bit browned. I'm going to go ahead and do an optional step, which is add some Parmesan cheese and stick it back in there for just a couple more minutes.
Okay, here are our plates. We've got the broccoli and the spaghetti pie. And I think if I wouldn't have done like the extra beaten sauce that it would definitely would have held together more like a pie. I'm gonna be able to cut. Um, so if you want to do it like that, follow the directions. But I will leave a note here on the screen and let you guys know if we liked this. Don't forget that this week's video was a collab, part of a big group collab hosted by Julia Pacheco. So make sure you check out her and the playlist link down below. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button down below. Leave me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.